of different lengths and cross sections I need to use force over A naught which is called engineering stress and U over L naught which is called engineering strain. Why it's called engineering stress and engineering strain uh, is a long story, but uh, in reality, uh, that's what we do. So, what if I do that? This is called sigma. This is called strain epsilon. So, sigma f over a naught epsilon. u over l naught or delta over l naught. So, if you look at, um, so let us mark, so this is usually written as percentage, 10 percent, 20 percent, something like that. This is usually the unit is mega Pascals or PSI and what will happen is that typically speaking, you will get a response that looks something like this. Typical steel, typical aluminum, rubbery material, And by the way, this thing is very, very small for most materials, for most stiff materials, this will be about 0 0.2 percent. So, that is very, very tiny. I will tell you how much it is. So, you will see what I mean. If the bar is a meter long, it will stretch by 2 millimeters. That is not a much, that is not much, right. So, I want you to understand, it is tiny, two thousands. Okay, so, a meter long bar will stretch by 2 millimeters by the time it gets here. Okay. Typically speaking, we are interested in this region. So, for a rubbery material, of course, it is not the case, it will, it will stretch by a lot more. So, that is why you can see the stretch if I take a rubber band or something, but a corresponding steel wire you cannot see it. Okay. So, what happens is, so our basic idea. is that within the proportional limit that means within here the stress is proportional to the strength. So, that is not a big deal because that is how the proportional limit is de defined, but the fact is most materials seem to have a fairly well defined proportional limit. Uh, so, you can say up to that point things are okay. For a rubbery material actually the proportional limit exceeds extends a reasonable amount, but nevertheless uh, that is the story. So, what we are going to write is we are and the proportionality constant. is called Young's modulus and the proportionality constant is called Young's modulus. Okay. And the typical symbol is E, sometimes people use the symbol Y, 
we will use e so we have sigma equals e times epsilon for uniaxial tension within proportional limit which for a typical approximate value for stiff materials steel aluminum that kind of thing it is 0.2 percent that is epsilon must be less than or equal to 0.002 okay <clears throat> so how is this useful well remember i got f over a equals e times u over l so this i can write it as delta equals so i notice either we use delta or u depends upon the textbook okay delta equals f l over a e so if you want to remember this by the way this is an example for a elastic material so you remember the flea okay this is the one insect which jumps the highest it jumps it can jump really well okay delta equal to fl over ae so remember that uh, and the easiest thing to do is to remember it as flea so notice this is load this is the scaling length this is cross sectional property and this is material current we will see this many many times you will see that typically speaking deflection so let me write it down in words deflection equals force times length divided by area times modulus this will be repeated you will see that for whenever we do torsion when we do bending you will get exactly analogous formula so the formula works so i want you to remember this memorize this u equals or the u or delta equals flea so just put it in your head flea insect which is very elastic i don't know whether you knew that but a flea is one of those things that infects dogs but it can jump really 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 high because it's very elastic right okay so you got the idea right so that's that's where we're going to stop